Cisco's International Training Office and one of the organizers of tonight's discussion. Yeah. So, Ray, come on up. <clears throat> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> so, we're very glad that we have three very powerful women who are with us tonight, and this is the Women's International Women's Month. One of them is uh, the founder of uh, an international movement called Code Pain that she'll be introduced much later. And we'll hear, hear stories of what happened to her. Uh, you've heard it from Democracy Now!, New York Times, and everywhere else. And another was a former uh, uh, person who was in the military with the Army and then joined the Foreign Service, uh, equally well-traveled. And we have another person who had been nominated for the Nobel Prize a few times over. So we're in the midst of very strong uh, willed uh, women in our midst. And we just like to take a survey of people who are, who have heard about this event from the Daily Chronicle. Raise your hand. Okay, one, two, three. Who have heard about this event from the Northern Star, which was published today? All right, not bad, huh? Who have heard about this from the NIU websites? The different websites. Okay, a lot. It's very helpful. Who have seen this on Facebook? Oh, tons of you. Okay. We didn't, we didn't know. Flyers. Okay, also. And then from your classes, your teachers require you? Ouch. Okay. Who were the, your professors? Oh, me. Okay. Yeah. So who are undergraduate students? Political science. Uh, fresh women and men. Yeah, that could be, you know, gender correct. And then for graduate students, masters, doctoral level students, we've got everything covered. The professors here, yeah, of course, of course we do. And then emails, we've got some barrages of emails, so annoying, but you came because it, it works, huh? And then from your organizations, all right, and then many other places. So with this, we'd like to welcome you all and enjoy an evening of inspiration. We were told there's two, at least two ways of dealing with powers that be. Number one is to kiss them and just deal with them nicely, be diplomatic. Some of us have tried that. Others, we say it locally here, let's do a media. Yeah. You'll find out what it is later. Okay, now I'd like to welcome the, uh, the next person who is the co-coordinator of the Decal Interfaith Network for Peace and Justice. One is Dr. Howard uh, Solomon, but the other who will be coming up here is Steve Capitan. The Interfaith Network has been a peace and justice organization in Decal for 